to do well in school. I feel bad asking for paper and pen. Bring your gift of paper, pens, binders, calculators, and backpacks to any sleep train and help a foster child succeed in school. You can also donate online at sleeptrain.com. Now I'm ready to go back to school. On behalf of the foster kids in your neighborhood, Sleep Train thanks you. Not everyone can be a foster parent, but anyone can help a foster child. Help a foster child start the school year right. Bring your gift of school supplies to any Sleep Train store or donate online at sleeptrain.com. Don't miss the inquisitive and intense comedic style of Joe Rogan at the San Jose Center for the Performing Arts Friday, July 25th. Remember when you were a kid and you thought they were real grown-ups? And KGO has your ticket. And then one day you're like 25 at the supermarket and the bag boys called you sir and you're like, how'd that happen? Listen to the Know Your News quiz at 525 in the afternoon for your chance to win. Joe Rogan in San Jose, July 25th. Tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster.com. You need a website. Why not do it yourself? You know your business. With Wix.com, you can create a professional website all by yourself. It's easy and free. With Wix.com, you don't need to be a programmer. Just use the intuitive drag and drop website builder. There's no limit to how creative you can be. It's your website, your style. Show the world what you can do. Create your own stunning website today. Go to Wix.com. It's easy and free. Get more control over your small business with ADT Security Services during our summer blockbuster sale. Through June 29th, get up to $300 instant savings on select ADT business packages. Get 24-7 burglary monitoring, a motion detector, two wireless cameras, and a lot less worries about your business. Call Star Star ADT from your cell phone. That's Star Star 238. 36-month monitoring contract required. For applicable terms and conditions, visit ADT.com. California ACO 715597443. If you are behind on your bills, then this message is for you. How would you like to have a large portion of your credit card debt or medical bills forgiven? National Credit Card Relief would like to give you free information on a proven debt forgiveness program. It's not bankruptcy. It's not consolidation. This special program actually wipes clean the portion of your debt that is forgiven. Call for your free forgiveness information. Now, 800-520-9330. That's 800-520-9330. Don't wait. Call 800-520-9330. This is the award-winning KGO News Team on the Bay Area's news and information station. KGO. The Second Amendment refers to it as though it, as though it were a pre-existing right. It didn't say that people shall have the right or even the government shall not take away it. But rather, the right of the people to keep and bear as well it was a pre-existing right. And that triggered his historical entry inquiry that takes you back to the English Bill of Rights. Bruce Allen Murphy's book is Scalia, A Court of One. Let me, let me pause you with a couple of questions that you've got to answer in the way that Scalia thinks. In other words, one of the rulings that's coming out this week supposedly involves the abortion rights, the right. First Amendment challenges and things like that. Where does he stand and how does he get there? Okay, I, I, I want to first mention that you asked a very interesting question earlier about whether or not somebody like Scalia should be on the court, and the answer is absolutely yes. It was a 98 to nothing vote in the, in the Senate. You want the best, smartest minds on the court. What I regret is that we don't have the equivalent on the left. We don't have a liberal like Lawrence Tribe of Harvard or somebody else who can really raise the level of debate against Scalia. I think on the abortion rights issue, that actually is going to be about whether or not protesters can approach women who are going into an abortion clinic, to a Planned Parenthood clinic, and try to prevent them verbally from, from, uh, from getting an abortion, from making that choice. This is, uh, this is everything that Scalia likes to vote about. It's about First Amendment rights, just approaching people on the sidewalk, and about doing something that might limit abortion, which he doesn't think is a right that's in the Constitution or was thought about by the framers. So I would be surprised if he voted in any way to limit the rights of the protesters. I think he will be very much in favor of their ability to approach people and try to prevent them verbally from, uh, from entering those facilities. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Of all the things that people will be surprised about with Scalia, the most significant one is that he was supposed to be the big conservative dream, and it didn't really turn out to be that way. It, it, it's going to be a mixed legacy, I think. In terms of the uh, contributions to jurisprudence, 
of the way people decide cases. He was exactly what uh, what Reagan.